You signed Kiara Perry, a forward from Duncanville High School. What kind of player are you getting? A winner. A player that, uh, that knows how to win, a, a proven winner. She's uh, played, she plays for Duncanville High School. They were state champions last year, and, and you want to sign players that come in with winning tradition. And, and uh, she is, she's an explosive guard forward. Uh, she's a more of a physical type guard, a rebounder, a player that's going to mix it up inside, um, but also a player that's going to really help us in our transition game. Was this a case of finding the best player available, or did you recruit specifically to fill a position of need? Well, we feel like we have got to solidify our backcourt, and, and what I mean by that is, is as we played last year in Conference USA and moved to the Big East, it's important that we have start out with a very strong backcourt. And uh, we were looking for a guard and a good sized guard, a guard that can compete in the Big East as we look into the future. So uh, it wasn't by any means uh, what was available. We went after her, we've recruited her for a couple years. Uh, she's, she's a player that we've had our eye on. And, Heck, she's only going to get better. Ron Harris works with her in, in, in his off time, so she's only going to get better with, with his help. Ward is she's a very versatile player and has played all five positions uh, at Duncanville. Will she play multiple positions for you, or do you see her sticking to one spot and perfecting that one? She's on her on her. The high school team, she did play multiple positions, but let's not go overboard now on the college level. She's going to be she's going to be a wing player for us. You know, in her, for her summer team is interesting because she did play point guard for her summer team. At point guard, she is not, but what it did was really helped her ball handling. It helped her decision making. It helped her, uh, I think, see the game on a on a different level. So it it ended up, I think, actually being a good thing for. Her. For her, but for us, she's going to be a wing player. She's going to be your your wing player. That's going to be your rebounding guard. That's going to mix it up. Uh, you know, she does. She can stand to work a little bit on her outside shooting as far as consistency. You know, she can hit the three in that. But I'd like her to work on her two man game skills a little bit more. She's obviously not the first Duncan Duncanville player to come through your program. Did Akil Simpson have any impact on recruiting her? Uh, I, I believe, you know, Akil's a great ambassador for, for our program for SMU. You know, their, their family, they just absolutely love SMU, and, and everybody at Duncanville knows Akil. They look up to her, and she's a great mentor for, you, for younger players. And, you know, they, they know Akil. She's, a, she's very passionate about the game. And so, uh, you know, Akil's a very vocal type player, not just with us, but even with her past Team. And Duncan Bills, when she's home, when she has an opportunity, she goes to see him play. So uh, I think the opportunity to play with somebody like Akil Simpson certainly didn't hurt. Kira has a reputation also of being a very good defensive player. What do you like about her on the defensive end of the floor? That's uh, very much so. She is, uh, she is a, a fantastic defensive player. She's, she's going to get up in your face. She's going she's gonna to D up. But she can D up on quicker players, but she can also D up on smaller players. She can D up on, on post players. So she's a very, very smart defensive player. She has a nose for the basketball. She has a nose. She gets her hands on a lot of balls. You know, one of the areas that is, is sort of a, a, a lost stat are deflections. You know, deflections that result in turnovers, and, and that's something that Kiera is, is very, very good at. Does she remind you of anyone, maybe a former player or – a player that you go against? I haven't, you know, to be honest, I really haven't, uh, I haven't thought about it, but, you know, we got a player, Farron Bell, right now, who is a six-foot, you know, long, lengthy guard that gets her hands on a lot of balls. If you notice, uh, Farron is on the ball in, in most situations, and times she'll guard a point guard, and she'll guard players that we want to disrupt their game. You know, if there's a player that, that we feel like we want to put some pressure on, that's the type of, that's a person that she's going to guard. Kier would be kind of that same type of person. When you were recruit, recruiting Kiera, how much of your interest in her was simply based on her size, her scoring, her defense, 
and how much was trying to project how she would mesh with your current players. You got a lot of freshmen and newcomers this year, so the the talent is there for the next couple of years. How much of it was based on chemistry and how they will all work together? Well, it, you don't you don't know how that's going to take place uh, really until sometimes until until they get here. But we knew we knew the type of person she was. Uh, we recruited her for a while, and and, and I remember Deneen coming back from a game uh, a, a year ago and said we have we have got to go after this player. You know, we've got to offer this player. You know, we can't let her leave our own backyard. And ever since then, we have been following her closely, um, you know, recruiting her to a point that we wanted her to be part of our family. And I think she's going to fit in very well because of the type of player, but also the type of person, the family she comes from. And that's, that's something this team, this team this year is probably the closest team that we've had in a long time. And I think Kira is going to fit into that type of atmosphere because Kira is a type that she wants a family atmosphere. And this team this year is, is a, quite honestly, they're a joy to coach. How much of your pitch to Kira was moving to the Big East, staying close to home, the academics? What was the biggest selling point that you think helped bring her to SMU? Answer D, all of the above. <laughs> she, and, and quite honestly, I mean, you said it, you know, the, uh, the, the Big East is huge it's and anybody who really knows about basketball knows the Big East is is not just one of the top conferences women's basketball conferences in the country but I believe it's the top women's basketball conference in the country it's it's a conference where you have so many final four teams so many national champions in, in this conference it's a it's a conference where you always see their teams playing on TV they got a fantastic women's basketball package and the level that you're going to play at is is like something you've never seen. You know, we we obviously haven't played at that level. It's a whole, it'll be a whole new level for us, which which makes it very exciting for us. Um, being close to home, her, she's a family girl, no doubt. Uh, her mom and dad will get a chance to see her play every game. You know, that's huge. And and as as girls get closer and closer to signing day. They want to stay closer and closer to home, and they know what a great academic school is, uh, SMU is, and the opportunity to get a very prestigious degree. So I think all, all of that played a huge part.